Hello, this is Andrew. Today I would like to show you how non multi temporal VST plugin instances can be adapted to a multi temporal folder structure in the DAW Reaper. When working with non multi temporal VST plugins like the Spitfire Audio Player or certain synthesizers, for example, it is possible to establish the same folder structure that multi temporal VST plugins, like Contact, for instance, have in the DAW Reaper by using Vienna Ensemble Pro. Contact is a multi temporal plugin, and therefore it is possible to use it in this way that several patches can be loaded into one instance of Contact. The different patches or instruments are routed to the respective MIDI channels. When working with non multi temporal VST plugins, however, this is not possible. One would have to start one instance per track. But with the help of Vienna Ensemble Pro, it is perfectly possible to establish the same folder structure similar to the one of multi-temporal plugins. I have created such a structure here, for example, for the Spitfire Audio Player and for the synthesizers Thorn and Vital. In Vienna Ensemble Pro, the structure looks like that. This is the VPro instance for the Spitfire audio player with 16 instances of the player routed to the respective 16 MIDI channels in the DAW project. This is the VPro instance for the synthesizer Thorn with 16 instances of Thorn routed to the respective 16 MIDI channels in the DAW project. And the same applies to the VPro instance for the synthesizer Vital. It is also very convenient to have VST plugin or instrument categories set up in this way as well. For example, one could reserve an instance of VPro to synthesizers in general or to certain kinds of sounds like leads or pads. This instance of VPro is occupied by several synthesizers that are reserved to produce lead sounds. And this instance of VPro is assigned to pad sounds. And this structure corresponds to the folder structure in the DAW. And in this way a certain logic and oversight can be achieved. I hope you have enjoyed my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.